Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for October 10th, 2016. For your Monday, high pressure is going to be moving into the area. This here in the uh, picture to the east is what's left of Matthew and all that moisture that plagued the uh, area south and east of 95, actually uh, obviously further down in the Carolinas as well. But uh, we came a little bit further north than we expected, and uh, the models were a little bit off on this by about 40 miles. And the areas I circle got into some rain here on Sunday. A little bit of a surprise rain, but uh, that is now out of the region and ended about, uh, you know, generally late morning to early afternoon on Sunday. That is now uh, east of the area and will not be affecting the region. So that is finally, we can finally say goodbye to the system. In the meantime, we're going to have high pressure moving into this area. We had some very windy conditions yesterday. I do think we're still remaining breezy today, at least early on. And uh, that's because this pressure gradient is still a little bit tight here in the morning. So we're going to have some winds out of the north, about 10 to 15 miles per hour with higher gusts to about 25. And then I think we die down later in the day. So it should not be a, it should be an improving day as far as uh, the winds are concerned. But uh, high pressure is going to be in control. So that means we're going to have mostly sunny conditions to start the work week. Going a little bit forward here, uh, we're going to have temperatures here in the 60s today. Temperatures are going to get in the lower 60s, maybe not even out of the 50s, out of the far northern areas. And for the first time this season, we're going to introduce the frost possibility overnight. And that's going to be for all of our northern areas, maybe down to our central areas right here where I'm circling. These areas right here uh, will have an opportunity for some scattered frost for the first time this year. So if you have any plants uh, that are sensitive to frost or freezing or anything like that. I don't think we're getting to freezing yet, but maybe some outlying areas here in the nor northern mountains. But for the most part, we're talking about just frost advisories uh, in this area here from the National Weather Service. And uh, we could have frost for the first time this season in those areas that I circled. And that will be uh, for the first time this year. But also, uh, excuse me, is it also we're going to have uh, high pressure and control through Tuesday. Maybe another chance here Tuesday night, but I do think we moderate overnight Tuesday night, so I don't think we have as widespread of the frost chances as on Monday night. Of course, on Columbus Day, Monday, we have that opportunity for the frost overnight, but not Tuesday night as is looking right now. Going a little bit forward, we're going to moderate a little bit each day for the from today through Thursday, and uh, probably going up about 2 degrees or so each day. So whatever you had for a high on Monday, Add two degrees to that for Tuesday. Same thing for Wednesday. Same thing for Thursday. As we get to Thursday, though, we get partly partly sunny skies. Later in the day, we have the opportunity for a very isolated chance for a shower, and this is along a cold front. Cold front is sitting back here like this, and ahead of it, very drag full cold front. Uh, this down here is what's left of the coal that is going to be moving away from the area, and that will not be affecting this region, or at least we hope. I mean... <laughs> I'll tell you what, Matthew really played some games here with us with, with the extent of, uh, you know, the tracks that were modeled for, uh, you know, more than five days out were really, really incorrect. Actually had this thing looping down to the south. That did not happen. Uh, Matthew, of course, and it continued up in this direction like this. Uh, Matt, uh, Nicole is now moving out into this region here. This is within five days. So we're going to trust that this is correct and it's going to move outside of the region and not affect the area. Uh, just a light shower possible, a very isolated chance for that late late in the day on Thursday uh, for across our much of our coverage area, and then we get more high pressure moving in here for Friday and again on Saturday. Now we're going to be watching for a system coming in here for Sunday, maybe have an opportunity for a shower. I think that's going to be falling apart. The next chance for a cold front is going to be moving through, it looks like, uh, as we get into later in the day on Monday. And that's right here. Uh, so it should be a dry weekend coming up here, but temperatures are going to be back below uh, normal for this time of year. We're going to be low normal for the next couple days. And then we get into uh, the cold front on Thursdays is going to help to reinforce that cooler air. And that should uh, reinforce that through the weekend and uh, keep it dry through the weekend as well. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for October 10th, 2016. Have a great Monday.